Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going to go back to code signal and work on the Python coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of a playlist, I'll put a link in the description below so you can start from the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to the arcade and then I'm going to Python. And we're on the complexity of comprehension section, which is a nod to we're probably going to be doing a lot of list comprehensions here. And we're starting with the uh, number 30 here, create spiral matrix. Uh, so we have to m implement the code in the missing part where the ellipse is here. And then uh, we're going to do a spiral matrix is a square matrix of size n by n. It contains all the integers in range 1 to n times n. So that number 1 is written in the bottom right hand corner and all the other numbers are written in increasing order spirally in the counterclockwise direction. Given the size of the matrix n, your task is to create a spiral matrix. So, uh, so for n equals 3, you can see there's a 3 by 3 matrix here. Uh, and what they mean is uh, in the bottom right hand corner, you're going to start with 1, and then you're going to increment by 1 uh, going in the counterclockwise direction until you get to the last uh, cell, uh, which will have the n by n, uh, n times n number in it. So it would be three times three, or nine in this case. So we have to implement this missing code, so we kind of have to figure out what should be put into this res uh, variable. So if we look here, uh, so if you look at this code, I'm not going to go through all of it, but what we're defining here with the DIRs is the directions that we're going to move inside of this matrix with the current direction being 0, which means the 0th item here, uh, which is the negative 1, 0. So you can see the direction that we're going to go first is we're going to go up the rows and stay in the same column. So it's going negative 1 uh, in the rows, and the columns are staying the same, or ze so that's why it's 0. And then the next direction we're going to go is we're going to stay in this top row, and we're going to move across the columns in the negative direction, so it's 0, negative 1. And then we're going to stay in this same column and go down the rows, so we're increasing the rows, so that would be 1, 0. And then we go and we increase uh, the column and keep the row the same, so 0, 1. And then we go back to this uh, first one, which is the negative 1, 0, or going up. Uh, the rows, or sorry, going in the reverse direction of the rows. So that's what that direction variable is telling us is which way we're going around in this, uh, this matrix. And we're starting with the first one. Uh, the current position tells us uh, what position we're currently at and which number we're going to put in there. So starting in the bottom right hand corner, this is n minus 1, n minus 1, or for a 3 by 3 that would be 2, 2. So 0, 1, 2 would get us into this list, and then uh, 0, 1, 2 would get us to this bottom right hand corner. So that's where we would start, and then the next position uh, will be specified by the directions. We'll just figure that out using the directions. So this res uh, is just actually initializing this 3 by 3 matrix, which we can do with two list comprehensions nested together. So you could initialize it with whatever you want because you're going to be replacing that number. Uh, so we're just going to go 0 for x in range. Uh, we need to repeat that n times. And then we have to do an outer part of that for y in range. So what this is going to do is going to create this initial 3 by 3 matrix and just put 0 in all, all the positions. It doesn't matter what uh, variables you set as x and y, uh, this just tells uh, you that you're going to do it 3 by 3 times. So you're going to first put in this row with 3 items, then a second row with 3 items, and then a third row with 3 items, or for how many times you have n. So if we run that, we'll see that that passes. So we can look at one of these. 
So for n equals 4, you can see it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, blah, blah, blah. And then it just spirally goes until it hits this n times n number. All right. I hope you guys are able to follow along with that. And you know how to do some uh, nested list comprehension. All right. Thank you very much.